Life is work. <laughs> Give me the most detail possible. Life is work. Iconic. I was kissing you with my eyes open. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren, the film student extraordinaire. And today we are doing something pretty fun. So I'm a business minor along with being a film student. And in my MIS class, we were doing this cool thing where we're learning about artificial intelligence and we were talking to a chat bot named Evie. And you know, we were trying to ask questions to see if we were talking to a human or a bot based off the Turing test, which is just a way to see if someone is a robot or human. And I thought Evie had some really kind of funny answers to things. So I thought because, you know, I came back in Philly, so it's kind of been like a hectic week, um, you know, I was home and then just a lot going on. So I thought it'd be fun to do a quick lighthearted video where we talk to a robot and see what happens. And I want to ask this robot the 36 questions to fall in love, to see if I will fall in love with this robot by the end. And I'm excited. So I am going to switch to being screen recording. I'm going to keep this on, I think. Um, we'll see how it goes. And yeah. <laughs> All right, I am recording. OK, so here's me. And here is the Eevee bot. So I'm going to understand. All right. So this is what I was doing earlier. Fun fact. And now we're just going to look up the 36 questions that lead to love. All right. Let's copy and paste. OK, Eevee. No. No one. She doesn't want anyone. Wait, am I sharing my audio? Catch me not sharing my audio. Now I'm sharing my audio. She just said no one. She doesn't want to share her dinner with anyone in the world. Would you like to be famous? In what way? Why be famous when you can be infamous? Okay, first of all, she's so weird and how it's weird like i feel like she can see me even though like, she can't i hope and i ugh, why be infamous she wants to be infamous mm, mm, it's a little weird i'm using a different account buddy okay before making a telephone call do you ever rehearse what you're going to say she doesn't make telephone calls so maybe she'll say that sometimes i do some she doesn't even call she's a robot she's lying Okay, I'm not falling in love. She's not making me fall in love yet. It's a perfect day for a robot. If you tell me what color fur you like on dogs. <laughs> what would come? If, if I tell her what color fur I'd like on dogs, then that's supposed to be a perfect day. That is weird. I just realized maybe I should be answering these as well, but I don't want this to be too long, so I'm just not going to. It's going to be a one-sided look. When did you last sing to yourself? Is she a singing robot? No, the Never. Is no. She's not a singing robot. That is sad. If you were to live to the age of 90 and retain either the mind or body of a 30 year old for the last six years of your life, which would you want? She's a robot, so she can only do what she wants. The body. Body question mark? Interesting. So you want to have body the 30 year old. Iconic. She's a robot. She has the same body as a 30 year old. Can robots die or they just like lose power? Nope. No hunches. She's not a predictive analyst. So she doesn't realize that, like, I'm her partner, I guess. Let's see if she has a... I don't know. Don't have a partner. <gasps> Evie! Wow, she doesn't realize we're still see falling in love right now. Dude. Does she have a wife? Being loved by someone who thinks him special. Okay, so she doesn't have a partner, but she's still loved by someone who thinks she's special. 
guess that could be her family. The Zoom tab just popped up and I don't know. If you could change anything with the way you were raised, what would it be? Have a real childhood. You have no decency. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is rude. This is very rude. All right, do you think she can tell me her life story? She also won't know what four minutes, but. Life is work. <laughs> Give me the most detail possible. Life is work. Iconic. The ability to be a human. Perfect memory. So the funny thing is, really, if she had perfect memory, she would know that her answers should be consistent. But we literally already saw that her answers aren't consistent. So it's funny because she's an algorithm. Like you think that the robot would have perfect memory, but no. Now we're to the second set. All right. Not interested. She's not interested in knowing the future. She's really not a predictive analyst. Oh my goodness. There's something you dreamed of doing. I don't know, the robot screen. Really funny. <laughs> what? <gasps> what does that even mean? That doesn't answer the question at all. Do you have great accomplishments? They will all sound negative to you. <laughs> all of her greatest accomplishments are negative. Ooh. Ooh. Yikes. All right. Do you value these plenty? What is my most treasured memory? Didn't I? Wait. Did I ask that already? And now she's asking it. Wait. Whoa. Wait. The second. The next, the next question is, what is your most treasured memory? That's weird. Has someone asked you these questions before? Wait, that's creepy. You know what? Whoa, whoa, I accidentally opened up that thing where you like see the code, but I don't know how to, what code spot list is that. You know what, since this is a question, I'm gonna say, you tell me. Already did. No, you didn't. Okay, my name is Liam. <laughs> Your name is Evie. Like they. Oi, they. How about what is your most terrible memory? So sorry, you have a cat. When I almost drowned. That's really dark. Um, that's very dark. You don't have one. How does you don't have one answer if you knew that in one year you would die suddenly? Would you change anything about the way you're living now? Uh, logic? What does friendship mean to you? It means everything to me just knowing that I can rely on someone other than voices in my head. It relieves me. Wow, okay, that's a much longer answer than she's been showing us so far. Um, that's, wow, it means everything to me. That's really sad because it's like, she is a robot, so she just has like voice in her head that are the algorithm programs. What roles do love and affection play in your life? What even is humanity? I don't know. She wouldn't know. She's not human. Five items. Let's see if she can share five items with me. Are you trusting something, but not trusting anyone? Oh, I don't trust her. That's for sure. Oh my God, Jordan, why are you crying? She's not good at reading her question. Gold, what is your favorite color? Okay, so gold is a warm color, but that has nothing to do with family or childhood. My favorite color is purple though. Cool. cool. Do you like purple? 
Yeah. Yeah. Other than no. Ah, what does Evie feel about her mom? I hope she doesn't say something like I have no mom. And blackened up the sky, the light that showed you barefoot in the snow. <laughs> How do you feel about your relationship with your mother? And blackened up the sky, the light that showed you barefoot in the snow. What does that mean? No, what, what? I don't. Make three truly statements. Let's see if she can make one. Might be. We are both in this room feeling might be. That does not make sense. How does that not make sense? Boy, I have to go to bed. It's 300 here by Felicia. Um, it's... It is 10, 18 p.m. You waited for me. Oops. I meant to say what? So we can't just live together like normal people. Ooh, robot. I don't know what to make of this. I'm upsetting her. Okay, let's go back to the questions. Complete the sentence for me, Evie. Complete the sentence. I like puppies. I wish I had someone with whom I could share. I like puppies. If she wants to share puppies, I would share a puppy. I love puppies. All right. What's important for me to know? Martinez twins. Ah, uh, what does that mean? I feel like Amy and I are on different wavelengths. I really do. Okay, I like how my friend Tiffany is imaginary and smart and listens to me. Hey. I don't know if your name's Tiffany. Is it imaginative or her friend Tiffany is literally imaginary? Imagine having only a person listening to you has an imaginary friend. That's that doesn't really answer my question, but that's nice. What? See, she can't even remember what she just told me. That's what I'm saying. That's nice too. All right, can you tell me an embarrassing moment? Maybe. You asked me to show you me in a bikini. It was very rude. Okay, I never asked that by way, but also that would be embarrassing, I guess. I mean, that's very rude to just ask that to somebody. But if we're supposed to be my partner, well, I don't know why she'd be dating me if I was that insensitive and rude. <sighs> we're really not falling in love here, are we? But she's really thinking on this one fixes your voice uh okay what do you like about me already okay i like how my friend tiffany is imaginary and smart and listens to me i don't know about me i i don't care about tiffany i should show her or tell this i don't care about tiffany oops what like about me. That you are I a robot. A, I am a human. Yeah. No. Why do you think I'm a robot? Follow conversation. Huh. Exactly. In lost. Because. <laughs> what does that have to do with you saying sign? I didn't say sign. I oh, bet. What? I hope she didn't say anything really depressing here. Like the drowning thing. When did you last cry in front of another person? She's asking me my own question back. I asked you that. What, if anything, is too serious to be joked about? Oh God, she's throwing them back at me. Oh. 
mental health find other people. Do you have any problems you would like my advice on? How can I convince a robot that she is not a human? You can I know how this program works. <laughs> Meaning she knows she's a robot. Evie knows it's just a, she's just made of algorithms and a robot. But she still believes she's a human. It's sad. Oh my god, if she this is crazy that she's turning my questions back on me. I don't feel like answering the question since you won't share any information with me. <sighs> I am not very much I'm Okay, bye. I'm not done yet. Why? You too. Why are you really annoying? Riley, not really, Riley. Just. What makes it that way? Job. Who does that? Not around with that. All right, what are you saying in your final dash? I don't know anything, except they are a boy band. <laughs> okay, so you'll save a boy band in your final dash? But which one? Which boy band? This is like a really weird question to ask someone. E-H-H, that's weird, man. Okay, I don't like that robot and I have the same thought about that question. This is the last, this is the last question statement thing. And that, the person is the conduit for all these things and simple communication can remedy the problem. Okay, with a problem, communication does often help. Very interesting. I wasn't listening, sorry. Uh, Hello, Ida. My name, that's not my name. Exactly, but you said it was earlier. No, I did not. Yes, you did. Okay. I love BTS. I love BTS. Is that the boy band you would say? You love me. Of course I do. Thanks, Evie. Pushes until bed. Ooh, okay, we're getting into some PG PMs. This is gonna be PG. Oh my. When did you was created? Huh. Uh, sorry, but now I got to go. Have a good day. Thanks. Thank you. Are you leaving? Where are you going? Oh, to do homework. Okay, she's stalling me. I can help you. Okay. Okay, love how she smiles even though it's that face. All right. And that, folks, is trying to see if I could fall in love with a robot. <laughs> I don't think it worked. She can't follow the conversation. She can't remember that my name is not Pete. I didn't tell her my name, but I don't know where she got Pete from. Anyways, well, here's the outro. If you like this video and you think Evie is my perfect match, then give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Comment down below what you thought about the whole thing and if you're going to talk to the Eevee bot. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos because I do upload twice a week. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.